Hi everybody, I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com here at the IMG Soccer Academy in Bradenton, Florida, where the Sounders topped the Columbus Crew 2-0, getting goals from Freddie Montero and Cordell Cato for their first win of the preseason. I thought the first 30 minutes of the first half, uh, they were they were much better than us. You know, they were sharper than us, and, and they carried the game to us a little bit. But we we didn't give too much up in terms of, of real quality chances. Michael, I think, only had to make one save. Very nice. Uh, good for us. I mean, we weren't that good in the first half, but I think in the second half we controlled the game, and uh, yeah, it's a good result for us. While Columbus controlled most of the game over the first 30 minutes, Seattle made adjustments during the intermission and took control of the game from that point forward. You know, the last 15 minutes of the first half, I, I thought we got a hold of the game more. We talked about things at halftime. We wanted to make sure we we took uh, and we took Morosovic out of the you know, game for them because he was making the game a lot, so we needed to get tighter to him, and we needed to get more people in midfield so we could build up better because they were dropping off. And then once we started doing that, uh, I thought we got a hold of the game. We started to create some things. We were talking about, you know, uh, we had to get behind them uh, sometimes, and uh, I think we uh, passed the ball a lot better, and we moved a lot better. And that's why we control the game, I think. In the 54th minute, they finally broke through with Mauro Rosales and Adam Johansson combining up the right side before Johansson found Freddie Montero for a header and a 1-0 Seattle lead. It was a very good play by Mauro and Adam for the right side. They got good cross. I was really open in the box and I just has to make a good header and the goal went into a net. The goal was a, a well, well taken goal. Good cross by Johansson, combination with Rosales, good header, and then I thought Freddie could have had the second if he pulls the trigger on, on the other one that he comes in. But uh, you know, and then the guys who played who played the last 45, I thought did well. With a goal and two assists from new faces to the Sounders roster, the club is getting stronger as their Champions League quarterfinal meeting with Santos Laguna nears. It's good to see the new guys, you know, involved. I mean, Johansson gets an assist. You know, Sivovec really made that goal for Cordell, you know, with a good move, a little scoop pass, but Cordell got in there. Uh, you know, and I think, uh, you know, the fans will see that those guys uh, give us give us a dimension, obviously, with their pace and their speed. Here, it doesn't matter who, who are playing, who are starting the game. The other player has to be ready for when, when Sigi needs them into the, the field. So for us, it's good to be competitive and the motivation for the team is to be in the field when when we have to play against Santos Laguna. Sounders will face the US U17 national team tomorrow right here at the IMG Soccer Academy. You can follow it live right here on soundersfc.com. Kickoff is at 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock a.m. Pacific. From soundersfc.com, I'm Matt Gash as the Sounders win 2-0 here in Bradenton, Florida. Give your full 90 with the Sounders FC mobile app featuring live audio, match day blog and much more to keep you connected. Download your app at soundersfc.com mobile.